have a winch controller. It's just a real cheap of the line type. It's actually a friend of mine's bike. Um, he couldn't get this thing apart to find out if he was able to fix it or not. So I just about have it apart and I'm going to show everybody of what goes wrong with these cheap controllers and if they're fixable basically on a temporary basis. So I'm going to finish taking it apart and I'll come back to you and show you the insides. Okay, the cover's off and this is how it looks so far. And I can see a little bit of corrosion here. And that's about it for there. So I'm going to clean that contact up. But at the same time, I'm actually going to pull this black switch off. It's like a double, double pull switch basically is what it is. So when I get that apart and off, I'll show you what the insides look like. Because I'm pretty sure the contacts are dirty inside. So the aim here and the goal is, is to uh, clean them contacts up. So it performs better for the fella. So I'll be back with you when I get to that step. Well, I got the box apart. And you can see the contacts in there, the little black spots. They were posing a little tiny problem. So I'm going to remove them black spots. Basically like carbon. To give them a nice fresh contact again. You can see them there, the black spots. There's one here. It's pretty heavily black. So what ends up happening is when those two contacts come into contact, uh, that carbon air is kind of basically acting like a barrier and stopping the current flow. So once I clean them contacts up and make them shiny again, uh, them contacts are going to come into contact and allow that current to flow. And then the winch itself will rotate uh, forward and in reverse again. So as I get them cleaned up, I'll come back and show you. And I'm just going to simply take a piece of sandpaper and remove what you're seeing there. And you'll see when I'm finished of what it ends up looking like. And at the same time, I'm charging the fellow's battery up. He was low in electrolyte. So I topped it up with some distilled water. And I'm going to give it a nice charge. You can see the cells are just starting to bubble. So I'll let that continue. And see how the uh, battery ends up turning out to be. Right, I'll be back with you. There you can see all the contacts are nice and shiny again. That's how they need to look. They're not brand new shiny. But they're still shiny enough that it'll make good contact again for a short period of time. Because after all this is a very cheap. Low grade. Wench controller. But just the same. It'll work for the fella for another who knows how long. So I'll put it all together and uh, let's test it out. And I'll show everybody and see how good the contacts are making their contact. And how the winch moves back and forward. All back together. Let's try the buttons out and see how it sounds. It's good that way. Without too much pressure being pushed. And it's good that way without too much pressure being pushed. That's all folks. Folks, if I could give you a tip, this would be the tip I'd give you. When you're talking about a four-wheeler and a winch, don't go with the cheapest type you can find. I mean, a winch on a four-wheeler is supposed to basically get you from being stuck. And you're going to want to wrap that... Uh, cabling around a tree or something you want a good switch and you want a good winch to be able to get yourself out of that state of being stuck if you pick yourself up some cheap switch and a cheap winch and you get stuck and you're going to go to trust in that cheap winch and cheap switch chances are pretty good you're going to stay stuck do yourself the favor and, and, and go with a little bit of quality with a winch and a switch that's just a tip that I would recommend you to do. It's entirely up to you, of course. Anyhow, thank you for watching. And if you have subscribed, I thank you very much. And if you have not, please do so.